What's good, everyone? Today's video is a first for me. We're going to be doing a comprehensive Bangalore guide. This video has been requested a bunch for, I don't know, probably a few months now. And I know a lot of my more experienced viewers aren't going to be super interested in how to play Bangalore. But here's the deal. I see people playing Bangalore all the time, whether it's in coaching sessions, on my team, or even in my matches. And they're just not playing her the right way. For you newer players, I want you to understand, Bangalore is an attractive pick because their abilities are super complicated. But in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the skill gaps that you need to understand with her. I'm gonna be covering all of her abilities and I'll be giving you a ton of practical tips and tricks for you to improve with her. If you're new here, my channel centers around helping you all improve at Apex Legends, so be sure to check out other related videos. Let's hop right into today's guide. First, let's discuss Bangalore's role on the team and what sort of play styles she is best for. Bangalore is a strategic offensive legend. She is not meant to be played in a passive manner. She is one of the base legends, so you don't need legend tokens to unlock her. And when I first started playing Apex, Bangalore was a real simple legend for me to start off the game with. I was not used to all of these abilities, and Bangalore has simple abilities, some that don't require a ton of experience to feel comfortable with. Bangalore is a great legend for all the players who solo queue, and she also can fit in well with teams. She isn't currently meta for like high level ranked or competitive, but she is a viable option through most of the elos of play. Let's talk about one of the best passives in the game, Bangalore's double time. This is activated when Bangalore gets hit or when bullets or grenades barely miss you, giving you a 30% increase in run speed for two seconds. So this passive on the surface doesn't sound like anything crazy, but one of the main mechanics in Apex is movement. So when you have a passive that has no cooldown and can increase your speed on the fly, it's very valuable. Here's how to be using it. There's a lot of different use cases, but the first is to use it in an aggressive manner. When you're pushing a team, taking fire while you're trying to close a gap to an opponent and this double time kicks in, this will make you a harder target to hit and hopefully can help you get to a more preferable angle in that fight. You can let the passive kick in and use it to reload your weapon while moving faster. You can also use it to run away from enemies and reposition. Because keep in mind, this has no cooldown. This passive is a reactive one. It's going to respond to enemies engaging with you. So utilize the short term speed boost to your advantage. If you guys are enjoying this video, please do me one favor and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It's free and will only take a second of your time. As a token of appreciation, at the end of the video, I'll throw in a clip of me skateboarding. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments. Now moving on to Bangalore's tactical, the smoke launcher. This is a high velocity smoke canister that explodes into a smoke wall on impact. This has two charges, allowing for it to be used twice in a row before a cooldown of 33 seconds is initiated. The launcher allows Bangalore to launch the smoke much farther than grenades, and upon landing the canister is going to split into three, which land in a perpendicular line to where it was launched. It takes 23 seconds for the smoke to evaporate, and it can deal 10 damage to enemies if it hits them on impact. If you ever load the smoke ready to shoot, but then you decide you don't want to launch it, you can press melee to cancel the smoke canister. The smoke has so many different use cases, and this is where I see a lot of Bangalore's mess up with using her. First, let's talk about how the smoke should be launched in different situations. For instance, if I'm trying to block line of sight from a team that is in a power position like high ground on a building, I will smoke them and use that as an opportunity to push up to them. If me and my team are in the open and we need to get to some cover, I shoot it in front of us or at my feet depending on if the enemy is shooting us from the front or the back. One thing a lot of new players don't understand is if I'm going for a res or I need to heal, I'm never going to smoke at my feet submerging me in the smoke because not only will it mess me up and my teammates vision, it can also disorient us to not know where we even are, leaving us trying to walk out of the smoke only into enemy's line of fire. So for this reason, smoking in front of us is the better option. You hold so much more power if you are on the edge of the smoke and not in the center. And the reason being is you can still see what's in front of you if you're on the edge. See, if an enemy is in the middle and they're trying to wander out and find us, I can see much better being on the edge and potentially get the jump on them. You never want to smoke you and your teammates in a building to the point that it hinders you all. And most rookie banglers do this. It's not the move, trust me. Think about angles of where enemies may come from or are currently holding and smoke those angles, but only if you feel like your team is in a disadvantaged situation. Because another problem I see is I will beam an enemy for 150 and look to push up and close the gap. And then my Bangalore teammate smokes them, cutting off my vision on the opponent and potentially helping the enemy get away or use that as a distraction to heal. So consider what the situation is in its entirety. If you just did a lot of damage to a team, there's no need to smoke them because it's going to help them more than it's going to help you. But on the flip side, if you're taking damage, think about smoking you, but only to a strategic advantage, not so that it's going to blind and disorient you and your teammates. 
Now, Bangalore's double time and smoke can help her get out of tricky situations, but it is an ability that can seriously mess up your teammates, so keep this in mind. If you're playing Bangalore and you have weapons that can take a digital threat, it's definitely good to use them. It's a very strong move to have you and your teammates run digital threats so you can coordinate team firing on opponents who may be submerged in your smoke. For example, if a team is backed into a corner or even a building, but you guys have angles on them with digital threats, you could smoke them to leave the enemy team disoriented and use your digital threats to beam them. For my controller players, keep in mind aim assist does not work in Bangalore smoke. Now let's talk about Bangalore's ultimate. And in a second, I'm gonna tell you something about this ultimate that most people don't know, so stay tuned. Bangalore throws a flare, which then summons a missile airstrike. The missiles will land in six by six rows. The first missiles to land will be the first to explode. Once a missile lands, it will detonate in six seconds. Now each missile will deal 40 damage to enemies and will slow or stun them. This ultimate is on a three minute cooldown and it's important to note, teammates aren't gonna take damage from this, but they can be seriously hindered by it because of the slowing and stunning effect that can occur to them as well. Now, one thing about Bang's ultimate that I want to mention because most people don't understand this is wherever the flare lands is where the first row will begin. From there on out, the rest of the rows will land. Imagine a square landing in front of wherever the flare goes. This will encompass about 70 meters. So if you throw it in front of you and don't move an inch forward, every single missile will land in front of you and you will not take any damage. On the flip side, if you throw it at your feet because someone is chasing you and you continue to run forward, well, you may end up running through your own ultimate if you don't time it correctly and the enemies have to decide quickly, are they gonna gamble running through the ultimate or are they gonna pause and wait for it to explode? It's important to throw it in the direction of the team you are fighting or trying to avoid. And this is much different than Gibby's ultimate where his is a quicker and more condensed circle size airstrike. With Bang's ultimate, as I mentioned, there's a delay with the explosion. So for this reason, many teams can avoid taking any damage from this because a lot of scenarios, they just are gonna wait it out or draw enough space away from it and avoid it altogether. But this doesn't mean the ultimate is completely useless. I do think that it's not independently powerful enough to be fully effective on its own, but I strongly recommend to chase down the enemies as they're getting bombarded, as long as you and your teammates can avoid taking the damage or the stunning effects. And this ultimate is great for crowd control. It can pause fights or it can help you push teams out of power positions like high ground on a building, and it can seriously mess them up if they get caught in it. Just be sure to place it in the right positions, guys. I think a lot of Bangalore's just yeet it and hope that it will do some damage and not really consider the fact that her abilities can slow and stun teammates, which can really, really hinder them in a lot of scenarios. So keep that in mind. So where does Bangalore fit into the meta? Well, she's definitely a solid pick, as I said, and I would have to put her in A or B tier. She's balanced and always has been, but I do think she could use a slight buff. There was a rumor last season that they may try to buff her smoke so that she isn't so easily countered from the wall hack legends like Bloodhound and Seer. But I don't believe anything concrete has come to light since. I definitely think this buff should be considered by Respawn though, because currently there is like zero counters to the wall hack meta. And with Bangalore having a smoke grenade, it makes perfect sense. For me personally, with the nature of Bangalore's abilities fitting very well into the Apex universe, I would love to see her get some love and come into the top tier meta for the upcoming midseason patch. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comments. If you guys made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, I hope you will consider doing so so you don't miss out on my next upload. That's going to be it for me on this one. Here's the clip of me skateboarding. Peace.